Hey guys, what is up? Today we are going to be talking about Mother Panic Gotham AD number 5. Uh, as many of you know who have listened to the other reviews, I've really been enjoying Mother Panic Gotham AD. This is no exception. It continues the exceptional quality of every issue so far. Uh, in this issue we get to see a team up of sorts as uh, Violet and Finnick Fox as they go to meet up with uh, Harley Quinn, Catwoman, uh, Poison Ivy, kind of the Gotham City Sirens of this universe, as Violet's kind of starting to wonder if she was sent to this dimension, universe, this other world for a reason, or if maybe there's a way back. Uh, she's trying to team up with them so they can take down Lord Robin, as Jason Todd has basically made a cult of the bat, a cult all about resurrecting Batman, about his followers as he's gone clearly insane being the last Robin alive. Uh, this issue has some incredible moments. There's some great moments with Harley Quinn. There's some great moments with uh, Violet and uh, Violet really seeing what the Finnick Fox hero and what Mother Panic means to <laughs> the few people left from her reality in this world and maybe that she can help this world and maybe her mother back in the original reality of hers Maybe she knew some secrets that, uh, at the time, didn't make a ton of sense to Violet. The art continues to be really, really gorgeous. Uh, this story, I'm running out of awesome things to say about it, because every issue knocks out of the park, every issue adds another layer to an already stellar story. Uh, if you have ever wanted to see a Gotham without Batman that wasn't a more stereotypical story that we've seen in comics before this is a very unique take on a gotham without the bat i highly 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 recommend it i've said that every time a new issue has come out and every time i've meant it you really need to be reading this book i'd love to know what you guys out there are thinking of it there's one part in particular where uh, harley has a reaction to something she sees and some great dialogue between her and selena kyle uh, that moment really stood out to me. I thought it was incredible. Uh, I want to know what you guys are thinking of this series and what you guys are thinking of this issue. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Uh, leave a like, subscribe, and that stuff. But uh, as of right now, I can't recommend this book enough. I'm very excited for issue six, but also sad to see it go away for a while because, of course, we don't know a lot of where Young Animal will go in the future. So until then, I'm just going to enjoy it and look forward to it. So uh, I hope you guys are doing the same. Hope you guys are loving it. I'll see you guys in another video review shortly. There's some other amazing books I love to talk about this week. Thank you so much for listening.